So in this quick tip, we're going to look at how we can draw or trace using Keynote on the iPad. Now, the first thing to know is that if you're using an Apple Pencil, if you simply tap anywhere on the screen, you will get your drawing tools across the bottom. A pen, pencil, crayon, a fill tool, rubber, and a select tool. If you tap again on any of the selected tools, you'll see that you can change the thickness of the pen, and you also get the option to change the color, where you have a range of colors that you can choose from. You can even select a specific color from the screen, and it will give you that color to use. I'm gonna go back to my black pen. Now, let's say that we wanted to use Keynote to do some drawing, and I'm gonna draw a nice picture of a lamb. So here we go. This is my picture of a lamb. I've got some ears and a body and a little tail and some legs. Now, that's not a great picture. Okay, so what I'm going to think about here is how can I up my skills and how can I use the digital tools to develop what I can do? So I'm going to tap done and I'm going to tap on the plus and go to photos or videos and I actually have a picture of a lamb on my device that I can choose. And I'm going to cheat slightly here because what I'm going to do is trace over that picture. Now, the easiest way to trace, having this picture selected, if I tap on the paintbrush and go to style, I can change the opacity of that picture. Now, this means that I'm going to be able to see my pen marks through the picture, meaning that it's easier for me to trace, same as you would if you were using tracing paper. So now I'm simply just going to trace around some of the key features. And we'll speed up the video here so that you can see the rest of the completed image. Okay, so now we've got the outline of our sheet all in place. And we can start to think about some of the more detail that we want to add into this. Now to get some of the colours, what I'm going to do is actually change the opacity of that initial picture back to the top and I want to fill in some of those colors so the the pink inside the ear so I'm going to tap on the fill tool choose my color palette and choose the paint dropper and I'm going to select inside that ear and then tap again and you'll see that it fills that color in now the color actually wasn't complete it wasn't you know all as uh, the same shade of that so I'm actually going to now use the same tool but with a slightly different color to add in a little bit of um, contrast to it and you can continue to do that for the whole of the sheep so again I'm going to tap on the color tap on the color selector choose maybe the lightest color of the sheep and then tap and it's going to color in the whole sheep now you might be thinking here right I've lost all of that uh, you know drawing that I've done beforehand I've lost the shading etc one other tip which is really useful here is to now bring that picture to the front and now start the same process again. But what will happen is your new drawing will just disappear to the back. So all you need to do is just kind of sketch over where some of that shading is. And you'll see that it kind of disappears as soon as you've done it. So you don't need to worry too much about that. We're just trying to kind of add a little bit of definition to that drawing. And I can guarantee it's already looking better than my initial example, which is on the uh, left-hand side there, as a nice reminder that whatever I do in this picture is going to be a lot better than I did in that one. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of that shade in just to give a bit of definition. Uh, maybe a little bit around the face as well. Okay, now you can spend a lot of time with this. Now, I've now got the picture underneath this. So the big reveal when I tap delete is there is my picture of that lamb. And I could spend a lot more time doing a lot more detail into this, but you can already start to see the difference between my picture here and my picture by here. So that's how we can use tracing and drawing on the iPad to start to develop some of our techniques.